Hello everyone, my name is Brian with Rentworks and today I want to talk to you about getting your home ready to rent. Now, once you've moved out and you're getting your home ready to rent, there's a few things you want to consider. The first thing is that when we're choosing a rental price, we're looking at condition and location. So your location's not going to change. Your location is stuck, you are where you are. The other thing we're looking at is condition. So the better condition you can get your home in, the higher price you can ask for. So if you're thinking, I want to go for that top of the market price, your home better be in pristine condition. So what are some of the things that you can do to get it in pristine condition and get that top market price? Some of them are obvious, but they're worth noting. The home has to be clean. And I don't mean running a broom over it, you know, running a mop and vacuum cleaner. No, no, no. I mean hiring professional cleaners to go in there and do a complete cleaning top to bottom, scrub the baseboards, wash the windows, the window sills. Um, shampoo the carpets, clean the oven, the refrigerator, everything top to bottom. You want that thing to be pristine, hotel ready, just as if you had just walked into a hotel for the first time. You can run your finger across the desk and it's going to show up no dust. So that's number one. Number two, a fresh coat of paint. A fresh coat of paint will go a long way. And of course you want to choose neutral colors, um, you know, from a pastel, really I would suggest eggshell, that's just the standard best. Um, but you want to go ahead and paint the house if possible, especially if you want to go for that top of the mark price. Um, next thing to consider is flooring. Of course, you want you know your, uh, your flooring to be as new as possible. Um, if you're going to keep carpets in there, make sure they're shampooed. But if again, if you want to go for that top of the mark price, I would suggest putting in new flooring, maybe something a little more durable, like uh, laminated vinyl tile, ceramic tile. Um, something hard and durable that's going to last several tenants so you don't have to replace it in between tenants or every three or five years You can keep it for a number of years So those are some of the things I would recommend if you want to go for that top of the mark price Make sure it's clean number one get some uh, fresh paint on there improve the flooring Start with that. So if you have any questions on this or anything else visit us online at rentworksaustin.com or give us a call